Hi, welcome to uh, the Adobe After Effects tutorials and this is the first tutorial. So today we are going to generate a very good but a simple text reveal in Adobe After Effects. So first we will preview it that what are we going to create. So this is a simple text animation that we are going to create today. So let's start and see how it is created so for this first of all what you need is you need to create a new composition so once you have opened your adobe after effects you need to go to composition and in that you need to select new composition here you can give it any name like i'm going to give it text reveal next make sure that your frame rate is at least 30 frames per second and the duration uh, 5 second duration is enough but it could be anything that you want and then hit ok now the next thing that we are going to do is create a new layer so this will be our background right click on this area go to new and select a solid layer you will see this panel in front of you in this name it as BG signifying that is a background layer and choose any color from the color palette over here. You can uh, either set the RGB values or just move the stylus over here or you can just use this hexadecimal value over here. The hexadecimal value I'm using is this so if you want you can just copy paste it and click OK then again OK to create a new layer. Now the next thing you want to do is just hit the lock button for this background layer so that you cannot accidentally move it anywhere else. Next we need to create a circle. So for that we need to create a shape layer. Again right click on this area, go to new and select the shape layer. Next you need to draw a circle. For that. Uh, go to the toolbar and select the shape tool you will be shown a rectangle tool so just press the Q on your keyboard and you will notice that this shape is changed to rounded rectangle now again press Q and you will find an ellipse tool now this is what we are going to use to make a perfect circle next you have to change the fill color so just select on this color and change the color to yellow. Now I'm going to use the eyedropper tool over here to pick a color. This is the yellow color that I want to use and this is the hexadecimal value. Copying it will give you the exact same color. Then click OK. Now you need to draw a circle but for that you have to make sure that you hold on to your shift key. Now this size of the circle is perfect but we don't need any fill on the circle we just need the stroke. So we go to this stroke options and make sure that it is selected to solid color and hit ok. Now we go to fill and change its type to none. And make sure that uh, the width of the stroke is 25 points or 25 pixels over here. Next thing we're going to do is animate the position of the circle but before that we are going to make sure that it is lined at the center perfectly. So we go to align tab and make it center both horizontally and vertically. Next we expand this shape layer, go to add, here you will find an option of trim paths. So select it. Now you will find that this trim paths has been added over here. You need to expand it and just set the value of the start to 100%. Now click this small stopwatch icon to keyframe it. And this is the keyframe animation that we are going to do in Adobe After Effects. Then move forward in time. Uh, around 15 frames would be good. And just set the value of the start to 0%. Now we need to preview it to see that what we have created up till now. So in the preview tab, select this first frame option and click play. 
So this is the animation that we have created and it looks pretty good. Just select both these keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant and here you will find an option of easy ease. So you need to easy ease these keyframes. That's it. That's how your circle is animated. The next thing we need to do is add a text animation. But before that, we need to lock the circle layer. Now we need to add text. So we need to add a new text layer and type in anything you want. I'm typing text text, but uh, its dimensions have to be set as per your wish. I'm just um, using the Malgan Gothic font and the font style of text is regular. Next, I'm going to reduce its size to around 228. The height is 241 pixels. The width is 4. And all these values you can see from here. If you want the same text, you need to copy the same values. Otherwise, anything that you like is going to be good. Then we need to make sure that is aligned correctly. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is add another text layer. And in it, I'm going to type here. Then I'm going to align it as well. Okay, so that it's, is its position. That looks good, but uh, this text appears to be big. Just decrease its size to around 207 pixels and this size also to around 207 pixels. Yes, that's good. Just increase its width a little bit. Okay, that's perfect. Now what I'm going to do is first animate this text layer. So what are we going to do is um, just create a new shape layer. But this time we are going to use the rectangle tool. So just hit the Q until you get the rectangle tool. This time we are not going to use any stroke. So set the stroke to none. But set the fill to solid color. And change its color to something else than that of the text color. So I'm going to use a red. It could be anything but not the same as the color of the text. And just make a rectangle that covers your whole text. The layer that contains TEXT is covered as a whole. Now make sure that this shape layer is just above this TEXT containing text layer and change the track mat you can find this option over here track mat of this text layer to alpha mat now make sure that your text layer is selected and hit the p on your keyboard to bring up the position now change the y coordinate value just decrease it and put a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch icon. Next move forward in time and bring back to its original position or the position that you like. So the value is around this much. Okay. And the keyframe, the next keyframe will be added automatically. Same thing you need to do for the hair layer. But this time we have to bring it from the downside. So we are just going to create a new shape layer. Just covering the whole text of here. Then change its track mat to alpha mat shape layer 3. And hit P to bring up the position. Keyframe it and move backward in time. For reference, you can just hit U on the text layer to bring up its keyframes and make sure that um, the animation is done simultaneously if you want them to occur simultaneously and then just increase the value of the Y coordinate a little bit. 
okay so then select all of these keyframes and hit f9 on your keyboard to easy ease them for a smooth animation so just go to the first frame and play it okay so that looks pretty good now if you want your text this layer upper layer to come first and the hair layer to come after that you need to just move the position of the keyframes so here we are going to click u while selecting this hair layer select both of these keyframes and move them forward in time we need to just increase its size a little bit and then preview it so that's our animation i hope you all enjoyed this video and i will meet you soon with the next tutorials in adobe after effects goodbye